Hello, my beautiful Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Let's dive into it right away. This is a timeless one, and I have some messages coming through for you. And um, we're going to be looking into your cup later on. The saucer, we're going to answer yes or no question through your saucer. And at the end, we're going to see your cards and the channeled messages coming forward. I see there's a pathway opening here for you. There's a chunk of money at the end. And someone's arms, you can see someone's arms are actually reaching out to you here. I feel like someone actually wants to get in touch with you, okay? And um, you might be wondering why. Why do they want to get in touch with me? Who is this person? There's a pathway right here. And this can be someone who actually wants to get closer to you um we have here the pathway and a marriage came coming forth with a mature man this mature man kind of reminds me of sir um the sir that who played gandalf <laughs> i couldn't remember his name and so it doesn't have to be a mature man doesn't have to be uh the person who wants the marriage this can be someone who wants to arrange this thing the marriage, if you're not looking for marriage, this can be a commitment, maybe a business arrangement that will actually, you will be benefiting a lot. And I see here, there's a baobab tree growing, which is actually mentioned in The Little Prince. If you ever read that book, uh, this indicates establishment, this indicates longevity and growth. But the thing is, The Little Prince keep uh, plucking the seeds of baobab trees out of his planet because he's concerned that if they grow because they can root to down and crack open his planet basically because he has a small one a small planet so uh when you're planting these trees be careful like i see a child's face here the child can be maybe an expectancy if you are expecting a child this can also be someone with a childlike attitude and um they might be maturing. Another thing, like now I start as like, this is a feminine energy listening, but I feel like if you're the masculine energy and if you have a pathway of creating a family for you, uh, maybe if this is you as a child, you might have to take a step to grow up in certain areas, okay? Maybe you're taking it so easy, but the person that you have in your life might not be waiting for you they don't they don't maybe have that plan i don't want to put negativity into my uh, interpretations here but let me tell you what i see i see a child actually playing on a tree tree indicates longevity and playfulness can also be another way of creating longevity in your life if you have a business or you have a business idea or you're working in a place um maybe being a little creative and joyful not like childish immature that's that's if that's the case that if that's what you're understanding or if that's what's happening you might be removing yourself out of that situation uh, but if this is like creative joyful uh, peaceful playful because the children they can just have a, have a brawl in one minute and then just forget about it next minute because they do not have negative intentions they don't have any hidden intentions behind it so if there's such intentions behind the person that you're dealing with if this is a person or a situation and you're seeing that you might have to um, maybe reveal that initially okay what i see here coming for your message is expansion and manifestation and divine guidance okay so you're going to be having we have a full moon coming up we have all this planetary alignments happening at this time for you but like i said this is a timeless reading whenever you're watching it can actually reach you the the time is a relative concept so if you enjoy this one and if you want to be a part of it just go ahead give it a thumbs up and subscribe so it can actually connect with the energy and uh, so the message coming forward is divine guidance you will be guided towards an expansion here the expansion is the root of tree growing really big and massively timeline is a close timeline we don't have to go too far maybe two years or so it can be maybe even two months or so this expansion is happening there are even people actually under the shade of this tree i see here you're sitting on a throne basically uh, when the tree grows it is going to be something massive expansion for you I feel like in the lifestyle as well, because throne, 
um doesn't have to be always the lifestyle getting like if you're in financially good situation maybe your relationships are not real is the problem this is going to be also healing here as well that's what the throne is actually an upgrade in your current situation i see a legal paper here within maybe six weeks or so six is a timeline and i see there's a male character here sitting down also he has a sword on his face sword energy is libra gemini or an aquarius energy so this person can be someone also after you gain authority you're going to start dealing with an authority figure and that person is going to be offering you a paperwork um the divine guidance expansion i feel like this is maybe going through like contracts or legal uh, assignments legal things are actually being resolved and um also there is um question coming here for you um, maybe you're going to grab something you're going to obtain this massive blessing it's going to come to your life it can be a new job can be like moving into another place that is actually going to boost your energy meeting with new people and this is asking you why not why shouldn't this happen to you maybe you keep thinking oh it might not come to me but you have this horseshoe on the bottom of the cup horseshoe is a symbol of protection symbol of abundance because horses actually brought abundance to people. They gave them ability to travel. Also, it is considered as good luck. So you have the good luck on the bottom in your heart. So why not? Why shouldn't you use that good luck? Why shouldn't you accept your good luck? So another question came forth and it says carrying generations. So this can also be someone, the sword energy, masculine sword energy, maybe an analytic person who doesn't really have any intuitive guidance, which you are a cancer, your intuition is strong. And you might be carrying this person's um, wrong doing, um, intuitive, not listening to their intuition and failing miserably. And maybe you are carrying their weight on your shoulders as well, okay? And it is time to let go of that also. Another final message came forth was stop asking and start commanding. So. Maybe you're gently demanding some things from people or uh, asking for some things to be fulfilled. Basically, the message is telling you, you see the smiling dinosaur here. The dinosaur is actually long-term stability. Uh, when you start commanding to people like in a tactful way, not in a pushy way, or to the situations to resolve and dissolve, maybe in the universe, speak it with the confidence, the things are going to start to resolve here. The things are going to start to align. I even see a couple here. I don't know if the couples are like us. Uh, if you want to get a couple, a person in your life, a lover. Um, someone is actually like, um, I see a bride and groom here. They're looking at each other. Not on this picture, but they're looking at each other now. That can also be arranged here for you. It's, it, it might be happening for you, okay? Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. I see a baby here too. Okay, baby, like, because like, we're standing on a higher level and this person is like looking upwards. Can be someone shorter than you are as well. I interpret that as a baby, but because I see like a balloon in their head, uh, can be someone child childish. Your desire coming really fast, by the way. I see a chunk of money at the end of it. It can be material. I also see a male character here who's carrying a big bag, okay? I feel like this male character can be also some ancestors because I see that here, five, 35 and three came forth, okay? So a mature man opening a pathway for you, which was going to be leading you to a new marriage. Marriage can be literal in the sense if that's what you're looking for, a good partnership. This can be someone who's actually arranging that uh, for you or this can be a partnership in the sense of like a business or maybe starting on a new company that you're going to partner up with. And I feel like this is the ma male character here who has like a pot in front of him. He's cooking something. Okay. This person is cooking something. Um, maybe this can be something that they're preparing for you or maybe they have prepared for you. It can be a referral from someone, maybe an old employee who has actually going to give this beautiful referral for you so you can find that perfect job that you want. Can be um, maybe if you're trying to get a loan, can be that kind of like collateral that they're going to show for you. Maybe you want to go to somewhere. In, for example, in different countries, they want sponsors. 
some country wants to have like want you to have sponsors to move there so this can be also a sponsor for you so you can move there smoothly and easily um and meet that soulmate soulmate doesn't have to be available it can be like when you move there through the pathway you're going to be meeting there maybe we have four of pentacles four of pentacles is suggesting you uh you are actually very close right now in your energy it is suggesting you to be relaxed but relaxed doesn't mean overspend your energy time or money or just hold on to it too tightly okay be reasonable and logical about these things we have three of pentacles coming forward this is a shuffle deck by the way and um yeah the king of swords on the bottom of the cup about uh, bottom of the deck by the way this is like uh, someone who is in your energy field three of pentacles indicates that your hard work being appreciated i feel like you're being too tight right now because you're working on something really hard and um that is actually blocking you to spend your energy on the other things that will give you joy however this will pay out really well this will pay out really well i have the king of swords in the bottom of the cup this is like a foreshadowing i want to see what is happening here this person can be someone demanding something from you this can be someone that you're working with or working for um is actually extremely demanding that's why maybe you are actually like holding yourself a little bit so you don't want to just you know blow up but it seems like here this is gonna go through you're gonna go through that really fast and you're gonna get to a position of appreciation seven of ones can be along the way you might get some sort of like rejections or maybe some objections but you're gonna be handling them very well and finally we had the wheel of fortune and i saw the magician on the bottom of the cup you're gonna bottom of the cards you're gonna get to that place that you want to be wheel of fortune indicates it doesn't usually indicate like okay the wheel of fortune is gonna start turning for you that you're gonna hit the jackpot it means that if you have been going through in a timeline that is not really um the best as here it is going to start changing around it is going to the things are going to start to align number 10 10 out of 10 and we have the number one with the magician you're going to start to create your own destiny maybe if you don't have the control of it right now and this is actually we have the horse king on the bottom of the uh, this card actually it says assistance and control the king of swords can be someone maybe a little bit like pushy but at the same time this person can be someone actually helping you out as well okay so if you're feeling like um this person is actually like uh, interrupting you or i uh, mean putting you under a lot of pressure giving you a lot of work this person can be someone um assisting you along the way that you're gonna find that out okay telepathic communication and ancient knowledge coming as your oracle so i feel like there's an ancestral thing happening i told you there's like an ancestral message coming forward and um like you are maybe receiving some sort of like message from your ancestors your divine guidance is coming forth but you need to be listening in order to get to the listening stage what can you do is meditation is a very good way and prayer and there's an affirmation also here uh, I'm always in contact with inspirational thoughts of divine love. And your message is um, speaking your truth to the world. The white hummingbirds want you to pull from the ancient knowledge that lies deep inside to find love, joy, and strength. And the best way to pull that energy is actually like prayer and meditation. Okay. All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.